Hi everyone, Jeanette Byro here. I'm a medium and a channeler. And I, I love when I get this question, when people are like, you talk about spirit and you say spirit, like who is spirit anyway? Uh, great question. So simple version is spirit to me is the umbrella term for anybody on the other side of the veil. Anyone who is not 3D embodied, right? Like we are human beings with bodies. Anyone who is not embodied or is embodied in a higher realm, that's not in 3D reality with us here, that's who spirit is to me. Now, that can be made up of family members and friends that have passed on and crossed over, pets that have passed, crossed over. These can be angels for many people. Um, it can be spirit guides. Spirit guides are anyone on the other side that has agreed to be a guide of sorts to you in your life. Um, it can also be different higher beings of consciousness, some from ascended higher dimensions, some from different galaxies, some from different aspects or areas of the universe. It can even be higher than that. This is where we start really expanding the mind here to try and conceptualize this. But for many of you that have been following me for a while now, you've heard me talk about the three guides of light. They are three beings. Um, they showed themselves as three beings, yet they are light consciousness. And when they came to me, they first showed themselves like outlines of beings. And they said they did that so that I would understand, uh, it would make more sense to my brain and be easier to accept. But what they said is we are not limited to that. We showed you the embodiment so you can understand we are a collective of beings coming forward, but we really are light. They are light consciousness. So they don't even need a body or need a etheric body of any sort. They are light consciousness, right? So as you go higher up in dimensions, you get higher aspects of consciousness. So without running down a total tangent of that, spirit is anyone on the other side. Spirit can be positive spirits. It can also be not so positive and what I like to call pesky spirits. It can be that too. That's lower dimensional pesky energies that, you know, thrive on negativity. Do I deal with those? No, that's not my game. Uh, I like to deal with the light. Have I come across dark energies? Yes, absolutely. Um, the thing with that is it's about choices. Whenever I'm confronted with that, I simply am not engaging in that. It's not my thing. I'm not interested. Um, and so I basically am not willing to play the game with those energies. So I focus on the light. So most of my interactions, 95% of them are of the light, spirits from light with the highest good involved. Um, and we are all surrounded by these energies all the time, some more than others, sometimes more depending on what you're going through in your life, you will have more spirit energies around you, but we are always all connected in. And that's one of the things that I think spirits or humans really disconnect from is the understanding that we are all one and we all are interconnected. We truly are. Thought alone allows us to connect in with spirit no matter what. Thought permeates every reality, if you will, every dimension, every space. It travels. So with that simple knowing, we are connected to any level of spirit at any time. Um, one last thing I will say, some people will ask me, we well, talk about spirit, but you don't talk about God. To me, that is all connected. To me, again, you have your own opinion, and I absolutely support that. God, source, Allah, creator, universe, to me, that is all one in the same. Source, if I was to pick a term, would probably be the most accurate for me because it is the origin energy of all things that permeates all things you and me, also the world of spirit. It is all connected in. So as you can see, it's a it's a simple answer, yet complex to explain it. So I hope that helps. Spirit is everything. You can find spirit in everything. You can find energy of spirit in water, in trees, in plants, animals, people, spirit world, uh, dream state, astral state, state, desires, your intent, magical moments, synchronicities, prayer, mantra, meditation. There are so many ways spirit can show itself. So I hope that it helps inspire you guys to connect in deeper or maybe answer some questions for you. Do keep the questions coming. I love answering them. So if I don't know the answer, my guides will tell me the answer. 
uh, hopefully. And uh, if you want to deepen your own practice as well, check out avalonspirit.com and also check out the Jeanette Viral podcast.